to do is show you guys how to do a little absolute value function um, and or solve at least the absolute value. And if you convert absolute value, it's going to tell you um, what is the absolute distance. You know, usually on a number line, we like to you know talk about. We don't really worry about um, if you're going left or going right or what your direction is, but the absolute distance from any given point. So you still could have negative and positive values. Um, you know, if I go two steps over here to the right, you could call that positive, but if I go two steps to the left, that's negative, but still the distance, the absolute value distance is still gonna be two. So when doing absolute value equations, we're gonna find the positive and the negative value that's still gonna um, satisfy our absolute value. And here's how we're gonna do it. First thing is, if I said the absolute value of negative four, I can say that equals four, and I can say negative absolute value of that equals um, also equals four. Those two also equal four. All right. And um, if I was going to say the absolute value of x, you know, if I was saying my value is four, well, you don't know if x is positive or you don't know if x is negative, right? It could have been either one of those. I say my my final answer is four. You don't know if it's positive or negative. So what we're going to do is we're going to find both of them now. Before we can figure out which one of both of them is, we're gonna to have to solve. We're gonna to have to solve for x for both of these situations. Now, before we can do that, we gotta get rid of everything that's on our absolute value side. So if you guys look at this, I have if you look at this, I have a 2 and a negative x on this side. I need to get rid of all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an x. And I'll have two absolute value of x plus one equals four x minus four. Now I can divide by two. And I'm left with x plus one equals two x minus two. Now, oh I'm sorry, absolute value. Now from here I can separate into to find the positive and to find the negative. So I can say x plus one equals 2x minus 2, and x plus 1 also equals a negative 2x plus 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm actually taking the opposite of my other side. So now when I go ahead and solve for x, um, let's get the x by itself. So let's subtract, yeah, I'll add a 2 over here, get x plus 3 equals 2x minus x over here, and therefore I get three is equal to x. And then over here for the negative value, uh, let's see, we'll subtract the one, add two x. So I'll be left with three x equals a positive one. Divide by three, x equals one third. So that's how you're going to evaluate uh, for two, that's how you evaluate for when you have your absolute value function. Not evaluate, but that's how you're going to solve your absolute value equation.